Hello friends, it is another day and today we are finally putting up our floating shelving. Remember in a couple of videos back, we said to you guys that we we're going to put floating shelving in this area here. I ordered some shelving from Timu. They were reasonably priced. Three shelf came in a box and we did the measurements and Babe, you want to say hi? Good morning, family. We're, uh, I'm in the process of, I'm going to be putting up this, uh, these floating shelving. And it kind of matches the butcher block a little bit. Some of the dark spots. So I think that'll look real nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to put um, one across, one here, and then one here. We're gonna kind of stag them and uh, we're gonna see how that's gonna look. So, right now, I'm just getting my measurements of how far I need to put uh, the shelving uh, from, the count, from, the, from the cabinet. That's about four and three quarters. Four and three and three quarters. First, we're gonna. You don't want it. You want. You don't want it all the way out like this, right? No. You don't need to put it like this, right? Yeah. Maybe we need to measure the length between, space them out the exact same space in between each shelving. Mm -hmm. So. Once I get the first one up, I can be able to measure. Yeah. So we need to measure how how much you want it from the. So if I put this one about. I mean, from the you wouldn't go from top of the ceiling. No, because I'm not going all the way up to the ceiling. I know, but I'm saying, how how much down from the ceiling would you come down for the first shelf? I'm coming down from the first shelf for about maybe four inches. Four inches. Okay. All together, it's about that cabinet is about almost thirty inches. So you're doing it from the cabinet and not from the top of the ceiling. Yeah. Okay, you going down how many inches? I'm gonna go down maybe four inches. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna prop, prop you guys up and get started. All right, guys, this is what was in the package. They had it, got the screws, sheetrock screws and the little anchors, and a little small level, magnetic level for you to level it. Also, the uh, actual shelving plus the bracket that you just slide in for the floating shelf. So what I did was I measured, I'm gonna start four inches from the top of the cabinet and it's gonna be a 13 inch space in between each shelf. So that shelf right there will be four inches from the top this next shelf will be 13 inches from that mark, four inches, and then the last shelf should equal out to coming down at the bottom of that shelf. Yeah, I gotta go for the first hole. Okay, so we decided once we share, yeah, we're gonna go down a little bit lower, and then instead of having this one equal, sorry about the blurring, guys, instead of having this one equal to the cabinet, we're gonna bring it up. Just hold that, Let's put that one up. Yeah, we're gonna have it up. Hold on, I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna have it just a little bit up from the cabinet and let me go on this side so i can show, give you guys a different angle so this is how 
it's going to look. So we had to go back, kind of reconfigurate a little bit, and this is what we came up with. So I think that looks good. What you think, honey? That's great. Okay. So we're going to kind of speed it up a little bit. I don't know. Do we? Yeah, we can speed it up a little bit, and then we're going to slow it back down for you guys. Uh, I'll probably speed up the part where he's actually drilling because, you know, that probably take a little minute. And we'll be back. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life than be so We have one up And two more to go They even provide you with a leveler Just to make sure you get it right So he put He's installing the final nails And then we'll have One shelf down And like I said two more to go and I really like the shelving that came from Simu. I like the color. Even though it's a little dark, like we said before, it, we have dark, you know, wood in our butcher block. And the shelving is being installed on the side where the butcher block is. So, this is the final look. And I love it. Can't wait to style it. <laughs> so, we're going to start on the second one. And then we'll be back with the final look of our floating shelving. And I might try to find some little decor to put up real quick for you guys. Here's the finished look from the floating shelving that I installed. Let's see. Give it a good look. Something else. Uh, some kind of rack we bought from like a rack. What is it? Saying. We got it from Ikea when we went on our trip to Ikea. If you go over to the vlog channel, you will see it on our vlog channel where we picked this up. Um, and I was thinking about putting it right here. No? Yeah. Because that's too much. You're doing too much now. If you I want to put, put it over here. Put it over there because I got something to go with. I wanted to use it. Uh, we also could put it on the side on the cabinet. But, so we have to figure out where we want to put it. Because I want to hang my coffee cups. That's why I was saying putting it right there. Mm. But we'll see. And then show them some little decor that I dug out of my stash. That I'm going to go ahead and try to do a little something on the, um, the shelving. So you get an idea on how you would decorate your shelving, but I love it. Hubby did a great job. It looks really good in here. Um, I like it. I love it. It looks good. So, 
All right. This is what we have so far with me just styling the shelving with things that I already had in my home. And I feel like it came out really nice. I wanted to incorporate the black and white, but I also wanted to, you know, have some type of the natural brown that's in also in my butcher block. Um, the shelving is a darker color, but like we said earlier, there are darker pieces of coloring in the wood. So, so I'm using black and white and natural wood tones in my kitchen. And we decided that we we're gonna put the rack, the black rack right here in the middle. I kind of wanted it off to the side, but we decided to put it in the middle. And as you see, I have the, you know, the black and white and wood tones aesthetics going on in my kitchen. So like I said, I just pulled things that I had already here and just decorated a little bit. I feel like it needs more greenery and I'm gonna be looking for some greenery to go um, on the shelving, but this is how everything is looking and I love it. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the top shelf. So on the top shelf, I have um, that plant right there. Um, and you see, you guys have already seen that in my kitchen. And then I had some serving, um, not serving spoons, some measuring, a measuring set that I had forever. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I'm not sure. That's my McKenzie um, bowls. It's like a little cereal bowl. And I think I've had that for like two years. On the middle shelf, I pulled out some items that I bought last year. Um, and I do have a fall video that will be coming up on my vlog channel. And I share these items with you guys. This is a, a little um, TikTok. I think, is this, is this, isn't that what you call it? Like TikTok? I think that's what you call it. Set, and I got it from Target. That little squirrel there, I think that came from Dollar General. Then I have some, just some measuring spoons. And then on the last shelf, I have a picture that I had in the, on the other side of the kitchen. And I got that from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I got that acorn from clearance um, from Hobby Lobby one year. And that sign, you guys also seen that because I did a little short where I featured that. And I can't remember where I got that from. I think I got that from Dollar General also. So this is what I have going on on this side of the kitchen Let me zoom out so you guys can see but i like it like i said i feel like it needs more greenery and i'll be looking for some greenery to go on the shelving but i just wanted to share with you how i had everything decorated so far but yeah I think it looks really nice. You guys comment down below and let me know. Come back on and kind of space this area out a little bit because I think it was a little bunched up, but it probably was like that because we wouldn't work it in this area. But I can't wait till we finish. And there's Bruno. Bruno, say hi. Say hi. He's tired. He just came back with his, on a quick ride with his dad. So we're going to finish up and put the bar right here. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Let me show you what a good time.
take out some cups to hang on there. But I guess we hang those on there, right? That looks good, right? Mm -hmm. So, hold it, um, hold it right You gotta put that side back up. This is the completed look, and I love, love, love how everything came out. The shelving from Timu were perfect for this area. They were the right size. I love the color. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys in the next couple of clips a closer look at the whole area. I did a short not too long ago with the coffee station, but of course we added the bar there and I put the coffee cups on the bar and I just think that came out really nice. In the pot, we're probably gonna put some herbs, um, but it's a lot of stuff that you can put in that um, little, I guess you can call it a flower pot, but you can put utensils, you can put a plant, you can put herbs so much you can do with that area like i said i love how the shelving came out these were just some of the pieces in my home that i just grabbed really quickly so i could decorate for you guys to give you an idea on how to style your um, floating shelves in your kitchen or any area in your home I just picked some random stuff, but of course, in future videos, I will be doing different types of styling for this area. I can't wait to the holiday season. I am going to have so much fun styling this area. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, but most of all, subscribe. And when you subscribe, Hit the notification button so you won't miss any uploads. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun